kingdom. Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. Whew. What have you got in store for me today? Huh? What are you going to do today, kingdom? Huh? Hey guys, welcome to my live reaction for kingdom. Yes. I, you know what, like, I look forward to every chapter. Um, you know what, this week, I've read other people's opinions, I've thought about it a bit more. I haven't looked at the history books, but obviously say it does unite China. But I don't know what his answer will be. Um, I've thought about it. What the King of Key says is true. Uh, he's being, or rather his dream is quite naive. You can't have what he wants, what he say wants without sacrifices. It doesn't work like that. So it will be interesting to see what Ace says. Let's get into it. What is your answer? Ace, oh great Ace. The King of Key is shocked. Wow, first panel, the King of Key is shocked. Or he's intensely looking at, say. So that's the first panel, wow. And the snake is come. <laughs> what is this snake? I want to know why he's got a snake in his mouth. A real snake, okay. Like part of me thought maybe it's a toy or something. This is a real snake. <laughs> so you're telling me that you already have an answer to the question of how you intend to save the citizens of your vanquished en enemies. It's true, it's not possible. In my opinion, it's not possible. How intriguing, yes, how intriguing. In that case, will you share your wisdom with us right here and now? King of Kin, a say. With every word and every breath, the future of China grows clearer and clearer. Oof. Why is why is Ace above the King of Key? He's above him, like he's maybe standing up while the King of Key's sitting. I wonder if that means anything or if that's any foreshadowing or something. Ace looking beast though. That's determined. No, he's sitting down and he he was that much bigger than him. No, he's standing, he's standing, he's standing, he's standing. Okay. We got shot the food for some reason. Ah, Saitaku's so ready as well. What's the matter, O oh, King of oh, Kin? Your Majesty is correct. Oh, this is Ace talking. For the for the people, their state is the soil in which they lo lay their roots. Yes. And to take that away from them would only leave the citizens with an unbearable sense of humiliation, loss, and abject terror. Yes, that's very true. So what's your answer? As one who intends to carry out the unification of these lands, I am fully aware that it is my responsibility to alleviate the conquered citizens from that suffering. And to go about accomplishing that, dot, 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 what's he gonna say? Then it would be necessary to convince them that this was not a war wage for the sake of conquest. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I think about it, okay. Conquest, the, the definition of conquest. Let's get the exact definition. Conquest, the subjugation and assumption of control of a place or people by military force. A territory which has been subjugated by military force. Okay. <sighs> How? It is military force. It is military force. You're taking these lands by military force unless i'm missing something here you're using an army to go into their lands be their armies and because your army wins you take the land oh what a strange thing to say yeah very strange thing to say it's bringing the six state to yeah it's bringing the six states to heal not a war of conquest no, it's not. No, no, please, I say, don't ruin your character. Don't be naive. This war is for unification, okay? But it's still conquest. This war for unification is a war for the sake of ushering in a brand new era and nation. Oh, and he means China. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand what he means. It's for the sake of something bigger and to... Basically, I'm guessing he means there won't be the six states, not even kin. So it won't be like they're falling under kin, but rather a new nation, which will most likely be called China. And 
that way no one has really been conquested because it's not one nation ruling it. All nations merged, although to get that to happen you have to con you have to conquest a nation, so ah is a <laughs> I get you bro, but yeah the King of Keys looking at him like mm, why is Shogunkun always looking shocked? Okay. To conquer is to subjugate. Yes. Even if we were to destroy all the six states, do you think Western Kin will be able to maintain control over the land by itself? No, it's too big. If we attempt to do so, in only a few years we could expect the world to plunge in an age of strife yet again. Yes, people will rise up and there'll, there'll be a formation of a new nation of some kind which will rebel against Kin. Or akin to attempt to install itself as overlord after defeating the six states, then unification will, without any shred of doubt, end in failure. Okay, very true. The people of Kin must not allow themselves to become rulers over the rest. Okay, so Kin, yeah, like I said, Kin won't rule. Doing so will first clear away any feelings of fear the conquered people may have towards Kin. And once we have announced the designs of our new nation, with no borders or battles to hinder them, we shall witness a world where man and goods can freely move amongst. I told you that is an impossible fantasy. <laughs> yeah, you... Because we are humans, because humans have things like greed and selfish desires, I see where the King of Keys is coming from, it's not possible, you can't they will still see it as being subjugated by Kin because Kin is the one who started it. Kin will have people in place who are most likely leading, say they go for an election of some kind or, you know, something diplomatic. Kin will be the ones leading it, so, and Kin were the ones that dominate the other nations and yeah, people will still feel like they were subjugated by Kin. I told you it's an impossible fantasy. To unite the seven fragmented states of these lands into a single entity without imposing your will upon them is impossible. Yes, it's very true. It's not possible. Someone has to rule. Even... <sighs> Let me read. Within these lands lie a multitude of cultures, customs and religions. With so many complications dividing the people, how could you ever hope to unite them under a single banner? If anything, the only feasible way making this possible would be through a powerful ruler above them, the likes of which has never been seen before. Your majesty is completely correct, but hey, say you're not making sense then. To truly unify these lands would require one thing to single-handedly govern the whole system effectively. But it can never be allowed to be man. Not man. If not man, then what? Law. Mm, we go on the diplomatic route, okay. Oh. Mm. Shock, the shock, even Saitaku is shocked. We will grant the law the highest level of power, and through law we will govern the people and the land. You know what? It's hard to not be super surprised at this, because obviously we know China exists as it is now, but if you think back in those times, this is unheard of. No. Man rules, like there's an emperor, there's a king, a man rules, you know? Man rules. So this, if we think about it from their opinion, this is preposterous what he's saying. Like, obviously we, we live in a world where law rules, so we can understand it. But if we try to picture being back then, where it, had no, it didn't exist like that, to say that law would rule would be like, how dare you? No. It's like, people don't like change, obviously, so. <sighs> wow. It's powerful stuff, man. Kingdom is just... <sighs> Saitaku is standing up. Whether you used to be a citizen of Ki or a citizen of Kin, none of it will matter. I knew it! I, I said it! I said it! I said it maybe, what, five minutes ago? <laughs> a world where royalty, nobility, and common peasantry mean nothing. A world where everyone shall answer equally. <laughs> King of Ki, the superpower that shall emerge following unification. Is he going to say China? Shall be one that finally achieves peace and equality after five whole centuries of conflict, a nation that shall be governed by law. Everyone shot, even oh, Saitaku opened his eyes. <laughs> Saitaku opened his eyes. <laughs> Again, going back to thinking we were in their time, 
and say you're a king, you're a king of a nation, and the life you live, you're gonna give that up and be on equal terms with someone who's a peasant, your servant, like, obviously now we can say yeah, but like when you're in that position, this is just like, how dare you, I will never, be at the same level as a pet because you're brought up in a certain way you can't think like that <sighs> this is so good wow who's crying is that yeah shogun's crying okay why am i crying to have thought that far whether it be kin or ki the citizens of all seven states shall stand shoulder to shoulder in this new world none superior or inferior to the rest so that we may truly unify ourselves and one as one people and work towards the formation of a our new nation yet. Yeah, this Shobunga's crime, but it's true, this is powerful stuff. It theoretically it is peace and it obviously it works till today. That is the answer that I have prepared as a response to the citizens of the six states. They say the dangerous man man. He's a dangerous man. Treading on toes that don't want to be tread on. The king of key doesn't have a response. A world where even royalty and nobility are not above the law. Hmm. See, thinking from the mind of the king, you don't want to. You don't want to be in that position. You're the king. You are the law. <laughs> Correct. But such a thing could hardly be considered a kingdom anymore, could it? Yeah. See, a trifling matter. <laughs> oh, you really defy normal expectations. That being said. A nation of my law where people from all four corners of the world may be treated as equals. Not the cleanest of answers, but certainly not a bad one either. Oh, the king of key respects the answer. They say, hmm. of course, this will be an undertaking that is far easier said than done. This vision that you strive for does not appear to be one where many people need to suffer. I see to think that such a path existed. Oh, whoa, is he gonna ally with Kim? It would appear that allowing myself to be cajoled by Saitaku and journeying to the western reaches, it was worth the time after all. Yeah, respect, mad respect for AC. Then does that mean the coalition is next? I must ask your majesty another question. What was the purpose behind your visit to Kenya? Okay, so AC to the king of Ki. I thought it would have been, I thought it would have, I, I thought it would have involved a king key alliance. That does not appear to be consistent with what you have said. No, you're close to the mark there. Although without formal witness, this can only be considered a verbal, prom a verbal promise between ourselves. But yes, it is an alliance between key and kin that I seek. Okay, okay, an alliance. And how would such an enterprise benefit key? for us kin. Were we to go to war with Wei, Zap, or Han, having an ally in the form of Qi poised at their back is one of the greatest advantages we could hope for out of an alliance. However, yeah, that's some crazy pincer attack action. <laughs> However, the moment King's Blade penetrates those three states, Qi will certainly be the next to find itself threatened by our steel. And I'm sure that as the King of Qi, you're well aware that our alliance will not be enough to stand in the way of our progress it's true so he's not going to stop because he's allied with key no i want to unify the states so you're coming under my not under my subjugation but <laughs> you're joining this revolution and when that time comes should the king of kin's eyes have changed and become clouded by impurity then key shall fight to the last man to protect their home does that mean if you oh wow Wow, wow, the key are gonna surrender. If Ace doesn't, I don't know if I trust this guy. I don't know if I trust him. I don't know if I trust him. Does that mean if, if he remains unchanged in the state of key will, your majesty? Around 50 years ago, a great coalition army led by the great Gaku, Gakuki reduced the mighty state of key to a paltry two cities, Kyo and Sokoboku. It was at that time in the besieged city of Kyo that I was born, and since then I have seen a great many things on the way here to today. <sighs> and there has been one thing that I've always believed in, 
that a thoroughly sickening amount of blood has already been shed on these planes, and that so long as we are unable to find an exit from this quagmire, the flow of blood shall never cease. I have convinced myself that maybe such an exit did not exist at all. But sitting here now, I feel that perhaps I've just seen a small glint of light shining out of this darkness. Oh, king or kin. If it is you, then perhaps there is finally someone to whom the reins to this land can be entrusted. Wow. He's talking about, yeah, he's talking about surrender. He's, he's surrendering to kin. And this is powerful, man. There's no mistaking it right now. The key king. One out of the seven warring states is actually talking about surrendering. <sighs> they say giving that bow. I don't know if I trust him, but very nice panel. The magnitude of this is wow. <sighs> Last chapter. Wow. Kingdom. There was so much dialogue in that chapter, but it was it was needed. Wow, I don't know where to start. Surrender? <sighs> to think a king, a king would surrender without even fighting. To me, it feels foreign. It feels like it, it won't happen. It, it doesn't feel real. I don't know if I can trust this king. Wow. I don't know. I, I, you know how there's a stigma like with snakes and personal snakes and you don't trust a snake and you've got a snake in his mouth. I just don't feel that we can trust him. I don't feel like we can trust him. I don't feel like he's going to stick to his word. But if he is, that's amazing. But yeah, that, that chapter, it, it was the back and forth was perfect. Like, Aisei's answer was good, but it was at the start quite naive because to say you want to unify without conquering is not possible you have to conquer to make nations surrender so that you can have your time to unify <sighs> but i don't know it's oh even if even if they conquer a state and some of the people are happy to you know go under this unification process they're going to still be people who believe in their state and don't want to unify in it. What happens to those people? Do they just get killed off? I don't know. I feel like the latter part of his answer was good. It was kind of what I was sort of really predicting, I guess, that he's going to go the diplomatic route and law, I didn't use the exact words, but essentially law would be the be all and then law the judge. But I just, I guess those who are poor will support it because you know they're not born into wealth but those who have riches and who are above the the lower class and who are kings i just don't see them giving that up easily to be at the same level as others to get rid of a monarchy in each state you have to conquer to do that so oh it was it's just a lot to think about a lot to digest this chapter i'm gonna have to read it again a few times um but it was a you read it. it was an excellent chapter of kingdom excellent chapter of kingdom ah again no war but it, it doesn't matter the author the mangaka just <sighs> it brings out the feelings man that was like i'm, I'm not out of breath but <sighs> i'm breathing heavy like that was an intense chapter <sighs> wow Wow, you certainly delivered today. <laughs> you certainly delivered today. <laughs> well, that was my live reaction to the sweet chapter of Kingdom. If you did like the reaction, uh, rate the video. Um, please, please comment what you thought because again, I really, I love reading your comments. Um, I love getting involved in conversation with you guys about Kingdom. It's too good not to talk about, especially this week's chapter. There's a lot to talk about. So please comment your opinions and thoughts. I really do read them and I do respond to them and I, I do like to, to see them. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do Kingdom Weekly, so yeah, you can stay tuned for that. And I do some other manga reviews as well. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Wow, Kingdom. Oh.